uh, Humble, Humble Homes. I'm going to mess it up. But you know the book we're talking about because we've been talking about it. And so he said, found you because I listened to the interview you did with Deke. Could you look into doing a video on hay box cooking? It's very green way to cook and something that would be good to promote. Thanks. And I never heard of hay box cooking. So last night I spent a large part of the evening researching hay box cooking and I was sending links to uh, Sarah and Mike about it. And then I came across this really cool blog that we can talk about as well, but these people that are in the UK that are working on... Alrighty, here we are, update number 11 on the house. Uh, got a whole lot of stuff going on. We are at the 90 day point on this project. So 90 days ago today, we started swinging a sledgehammer for the first time here. I'm inside the main space, and as you can see, we've got a lot of updates. We've got the sheetrock up, uh, we've got our first layer of mud on everything, and we've started working on the ceiling. Sorry it's so dark in here today, but it's really cloudy outside, and. I don't have very much light in the house while we're working on the uh, sheetrock here, but once we get everything mudded, taped, and painted, we'll start getting regular lights in the house and uh, everything should look much, much better. Take you on a quick walk around and show you kind of what we've got going on here. All right, one quick update example is uh, we're starting to get in all the finishing items, so the lights and things like that. So we're gonna do LED light bulbs in uh, all the outlets and cans up in the ceiling. So these are here. Uh, I've got them marked for where they go just to make sure that I have enough of them. Uh, this is the lights for the closets for the bedrooms. And then um, I'll show you a little bit more when we get these out. But uh, if you've ever heard of a, what's called an Edison bulb, uh, it's a vintage style light bulb. We're going to do those in the kitchen for some decorative lights. Our speaker switch box is in. We're starting to put our speakers in. Uh, I'll give you an example here on the ceiling in the great room. That's one of the speakers. Here's the other one right over here. And then over there where the wires are coming out will be the other speakers. Uh, just to kind of give you a, a quick tour around here. Um, this has all been sanded and ready to get painted. All of this is mudded and sanded and ready to get painted. Uh, for the most part, everything is ready to go. Uh, all of our sheetrock is in around all of the stairs and down to the end of the staircase here. That's all completed. So this is our uh, work area today. All these boxes have to get open and inspected. When you order cabinets uh, from a cabinet shop or from anywhere, when they deliver them to you, you have basically seven days to open them up and make sure all the drawers work, all the different parts work and everything for them. And then if everything is working fine, then you're good to go. If you want to make a claim, you need to make a claim within the first seven days. Well, these were delivered uh, this last week. So now this weekend, I'm going to open all these up and kind of go through and make sure everything's here. But I'll do a quick uh, reveal of what the wood looks like here on the, on the front of the cabinet. But... Uh, Here's a quick uh, example of the hickory cabinets. The one thing I like about them is, you know, the drawers are easy slide out. But the other thing is, when they get close, they pull themselves in. So open the door. And it closes itself automatically. So I'll open up all these. This is an example of uh, one of the pots and pans drawers for next to the stove. But all these will go through today. And we'll check it all out and make sure everything is all right. Do another quick update. So we got all the money and taping done for the boys' room here. 
What we're going to do in this space is what's called a knockdown texture where you spray the texture on the wall and you scrape it and it kind of gives the wall a rough look. Biggest reason why I do that is in a place like a cabin, you're going to bump the walls and boys rooms are going to, you know, bump into things. And if you have a finish that's smooth, you have to go back and fix that all the time versus if they dent the wall or there's some kind of issue, you can easily just throw some mud on there, throw some paint over the top of it and it dip, disappears back into the pattern. So that's what we're going to be doing in a lot of the rooms here. I don't want to spend a lot of time up here fixing sheetrock. I'd rather just take some paint and kind of bleh on the wall and it's fixed and covered and it disappears back into the pattern. So one of the things we've done at one of our other properties when we remodeled uh, the house, this one we're going to do the same thing. It works out great, keeps everything easy and you don't spend a lot of time fixing stuff up on the house all the time. Next room is the guest room. Ceilings up, walls and everything are mudded and finished. We got our windows in, closets are going together. So. We'll do some more finishing in here, get everything kind of wrapped up, but uh, this room is definitely coming together. Show you what's going on in the bathrooms here and the master bedroom. So this is the bathroom. It's gonna be a tall cabinet here in the corner. Here's where our sink is. The little circle on the ground down there is the toilet. Our Dura rock is up inside our shower area. Uh, that's basically what you put inside of a space like this to put the tile in. So the tile will go all the way from the bottom here, all the way up to the top. We've got a waterproof light can in the shower area so there'll be plenty of light in this space. Uh, it's definitely come together. Got some foam down here to protect the, the tub, but uh, we'll be getting that done. We've got kind of a really cool um, pattern that we're gonna do on the floor here for tile. It kind of looks like uh, wood, but it's actually a, a stone product. So that'd be kind of cool. And then take in here. So again, here's the master bedroom. Everything is uh, covered. All our screw marks are covered. All the seams are covered. Everything's ready to go here. Just got a little bit more sanding to do and everything will be smooth and ready to be finished. I'll tell you this. One thing to think about when you're doing a remodel project is find the things that you're good at and work on those and hire out the things you're not good at because it'll go a lot smoother. I'll tell you this. I do not have the patience or skill level to finish sheetrock in any way, shape or form. Had some guys come in, you know, three guys came in in a couple days and they got it hammered out and they did a uh, spectacular job. Everything will be finished off. And like I said, they'll come in and spray all the textures and, and uh, put all the color on the walls. And, you know, I was uh, traveling for work and we had the Thanksgiving holiday and they had these guys come in and then come up the next weekend and boom, it was all done. You know what? It's uh, definitely worth it sometimes to hire stuff out. It's good to do DIY projects, but it's also to know uh, what you're good at and what you're not good at. And sheetrocking and finishing a cabin like this project is just not something that I'm able to do. So to hire it out and have somebody come in and do it, it was definitely worth the money. All right, the last one here is the master bath. Uh, vanity is gonna go right here. Uh, this is an outlet. Uh, the light switch will be right here. There'll be a fixture there, one up on the ceiling. One will control the fan. One will control the light in here. And then this is the speaker for the audio inside the bathroom. We got uh, our window, our little heater in here. And then uh, this will be Dura rocked. Now that we've got this sound deadening insulation in here, it really knocks down the sound from this space into the great room. And it also knocks down the sound from the great room into our spaces. So the bedrooms are gonna be really quiet, which is nice. You can still have people out in the main space, but if other people wanna go to bed early, that works out really well, especially if there's little kids and things like that. I've talked about that a number of times, but that's what that blue insulation is. It's like a, a jean type material. It's really thick. We packed it into uh, all of the two by fours and two by sixes in the property. And you know, it's gonna knock down the sound between all the rooms really, really nicely for us. All right, so as you can see, everything's coming together on the house. Uh, this week, uh, we hope to get the pine board up in this space, get everything uh, knocked down texture and painted over the next uh, week or two here and uh, start putting in the cabinets and getting kind of to the finishing point on the in interior. The exterior of the house is gonna stay the same till the spring. We're not gonna put up any of the siding or anything. We've got it all wrapped and tyvek and uh, sealed up, so we should be good for the weather. And then in the springtime, we'll do all the uh, decorative finishing on the outside of the house. But Structurally, we don't need anything. We've got a new roof. We've got um, new soffit and fascia. We've got all the new boards on the outside of the house and windows and things like that. So we're gonna kind of leave it as it is. It might not look the best, but uh, by spring, we'll get it all wrapped up and put together. Well, I better get back to work here. Got a lot to do, but uh, thanks for watching. Follow along with what we do. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm working on a Ask Me Anything a video where I'll sit down and answer a bunch of questions because we've had a lot of them. Some about the camera that I showed the other day, 
uh, in one of our other videos. I'll link to it uh, in this one. Uh, we have a security camera up here. A lot of people have been asking about that. A lot of people have been asking the hows and the whys of why we're insulating a certain way or why we're putting things together a certain way. So if you do have some questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can in the comments. Otherwise, I'll be doing a video here in the next uh, couple weeks. We've got a couple of outdoor projects we're gonna be doing uh, upcoming, which will be great and uh, a lot more stuff to come uh, down the road, some projects with some friends and just catching up on some things that we did this last summer that we'll be getting up online. So look forward to that. This has been the Weekend Homestead, living a simple life one weekend at a time. Thanks for watching. So, as you can see, everything's coming together on the house here, and I'm driving the camera!